Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know those hand dryer machines they have in bathrooms? I like them. Those things suck. No, they blow. No, they suck up feces and spread germs, and we'll tell you about it on the next Men Are So Smart. Hello, people of Earth. <laughs> I'm Bill Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And on today's episode of Men Are So Smart, washing your hands, whoops, sorry, washing your hands is one of the easiest ways to stop the spread of germs, right? Absolutely. Well, your office hand dryer might actually be spreading fecal bacteria onto your hands and throughout your building. Yeah, say it's not so. It's not, it's so. Yeah, well, scientists comparing normal bathroom air, if there is such a thing, uh, to the air blasted from the hand dryer nozzles have found far more bacterial colonies developed in samples exposed to the latter. Mm -hmm. The results were published this month in the Applied, uh, in the Journal of Applied and in Environmental Microbiology. Bacteria in bathrooms will come from feces. Now listen to this. Bacteria in bathrooms will come from feces, which can be spread when toilets, especially lidless toilets, Ew. are flushed, says the author. The simple movement of lots of people in and out of the bathroom, shedding microbes from their skin, he said, adds to the messy picture. Hand dryers then suck up bathroom air and spew it out at speed. I told you they suck. So in brief moments, your hands rest below the nozzle. They'll be exposed to far more air than usual and far more bacteria. Hmm. In the study, researchers found 36 bathrooms at the University of Connecticut School for Medicine for a harmless lab-engineered strain of bacteria called PS533. Unlike other types of B. subtilis, often found in soil, this strain is only found in laboratory environments. Uh, so the team found this PS 533 in every bathroom tested. Oh my gosh. Bacterial spores, Setlow explained, had probably traveled throughout the research building from a lab. Although these particular spores, which can survive for years, are meaningless for human health, their vast distribution shows that bacteria had spread throughout the air of the entire building. I Ew. want you to think about this for a second. You know, we're told as men, please remember to put this toilet seat down. That's right. And so we are, we're putting the seat part down, but we're leaving the back part up. And that's where all of these germs are coming from, especially when you flush. Within a large building, potentially pathogenic bacteria, including bacterial spores, may travel between rooms. Hand dryers, they added, could be one way such bacteria has seeped through the building. Mm. So now the machine is sucking up that stuff from with the lid up like this. It's sucking that up as it brings air in to blow out. So it's blowing the germs faster and harder it's, out through the machine. It's basically, it's weaponizing. Yes! <laughs> in theory, adding high-efficiency particulate, uh, air like HEPA filters, uh -huh. Uh, should stop bacteria particles from spraying over your newly cleaned hands. However, when the team retrofitted some of their dryers with the uh, HEPA filters, they only blocked out about 75% of the bacteria. Although that's a lot, it's not perfect. Perhaps the filters weren't working properly, or the large air column below the hand dryer was sucking in bacteria from unfiltered air adjacent to the forced air column. Um, for example, air might pull in unfiltered bathroom air. Huh. The research adds to a growing body of evidence showing that hot air hand drivers <laughs> have a role in the spread of bacteria, safe and potentially dangerous. Uh, for now, the author is sticking with paper towels. Yes! As is the University of Connecticut, which has added them to all 36 bathrooms surveyed in the study. Wow, you know, have you ever been in a situation where you have a guest, it could be at the house, or it could be work, or wherever, 
and um, before they leave, they say, uh, do you mind if I use the restroom real quick? And they come out and they go, okay, well, I got to go. It was nice to see you. Oh, yeah. Now, we you have to ask the question. Did they wash their hands? Do you feel lucky? Yeah. Well, <laughs> do you, punk? <laughs> and then you go to shake their hand and it's wet. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. And, or you even know that the restroom where you work has one of those blowers, yeah. and he didn't take the time to even dry it off. And if he had... Hey, have you seen the new blowers that they have now? I don't think so. Instead of having a single nozzle like this, mm -hmm. it's wide. It's like this big... Uh, a lot of sports arenas, I think uh, Sam's and maybe Costco both have them. But you, it's like a U-shaped device. It's uh -huh. made by Dyson, in fact. Okay. And you just put your hands like this up and down in it like four times, and they're dry. I wonder if they, because Dyson is very cutting edge. They use those HEPA filters yes. in everything they do. I wonder if they might be a little bit more sanitary. We might have to research this a little bit more. Hmm. Well, you know, you thought you were doing the right thing by washing your hands. Right after you use the potty but if you're using one of those dryers maybe not uh, not so much yeah. if you have a choice between the dryer and uh, a towel a paper towel use the paper towel yeah kill some trees what the and, hell and you know what lately i'm not doing a whole lot of handshaking i'm doing a lot of fist bumping <laughs> yeah remember i told you about the germ thing i have going on it's getting really bad ronnie so if you meet me do this, okay, because I just don't want to do that. All right, that'll wrap up this episode of Men Are So Freaking Smart. We hope we brought you information that will enlighten you and yes. make your world a better place. Yeah. All right, that'll do it. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Find all the information on either of us below. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.